Oceanside, California. Pacific Coast Highway. Link Soul Lab. You may recognize the name and logo as some of the most trendy and impactful players on tour are repping for the Link Soul brand. But it's not all about clothes and sales for this apparel company. Its mission is rooted in the soul of it all. Founded by fashion icon John Ashworth, his nephew Jeff, and an all-star team of family and friends. Link Soul style embodies the evolution of the contemporary golf world and modern golf fashion. Link Soul originates from the term Link's Soul, an expression of the connection they found through their years of playing golf and now seeking whatever they do. Link Soul, Oceanside, California, laid back. Casual, fly, golfers apparel. But they need some bigger sizes so I can fit them. I love what they say. It's no longer just about golf. It's about everything. However, golf is still mandatory on Friday. Now that's a company mantra I can subscribe to. My name is Wyatt Barker, better known as Dub B. As a producer and performer, my love for music has taken me to the industry's biggest stages. But beauty is my passion, and ever since I could walk, I've been immersed in the game I love, which is golf. And I was raised to compete on golf's biggest stages. Now I'm bringing it all together. Come and join me as we feed body, soul, and mind and unlock some of the most beautiful experiences the golf world has to offer, where everything exists above par. From the club to the tee, come travel with Doug B. Them dealing was never seen, pitch red, green, fairway dream, bring it all to reality right here on Above Par. The GOAT, known as the field of dreams of golf. From the moment you step on the property, Goat Hill Park is a realistic representation of everything the golf world today strives to be. better understanding of how this modern community spectacle came to be, I sit down with the visionary behind the GOAT himself. John, yeah. in your opinion, what is the soul of golf? <laughs> oh, you just, you just started right with that, huh? Yeah. You just get right into it. You got it. it. <laughs> Oh wow, the soul of golf is probably different for everybody mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, for me, it's, it's, I guess, I don't know, I feel like it's a connection, you know, it's a connection to the earth, mm -hmm. it's a connection to yourself, mm -hmm. and it's a connection to other people, and it's layers and layers and layers and layers and layers on each of those. <laughs> so, you know, it's... Uh, you know, it's a beautiful game. It's, you know, it's, it's different things for different people, for right. sure, you know. But I think the soul of it is connecting in a positive way, mm -hmm. you know. And it could be spiritual. It could be, you know, recreational, social, um, all those things wrapped up together. So it's pretty deep, you know. It's real. But it's, but it's also, you know, um, being outdoors in nature and... Uh, you know, chasing around a little ball, trying to get it in a hole. Mm -hmm. 
you know, it's pretty simple, but it's, as we know, it's a very difficult, complicated game. Indeed it is. You know, and uh, I've been playing, geez, since I was probably nine, eight, nine years old, and I'm 62, so over 50 years Decades, now. Decades, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Got that 50 yeah, year anniversary yeah, yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, and I'm still chasing it. Hey, okay. and you love it. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Yeah. Well, I mean, talking about the solo golf, you're, you're a guru in the golf world, right? Mm -hmm. And in the golf apparel world. I mean, the things that you've been a part of and created have been absolutely, extremely impactful, not only in my life, mm -hmm. but in many golfers' lives. I mean, that Ashworth logo, you know, danced on yeah. um, champions' hearts for years, yeah. right? right. What, did, what did that feel like? No, it was always great, you know, and again, that was the, the you know, from that logo evolved from a conversation that I had when I started the company. I wanted to have a mark, a, a logo, something that, you know, sort of captured that feeling of walking. I'm big on walking because mm -hmm. I feel like that's really golf. You it's know? like a moving and, meditation. Yeah, 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 full walking meditation, but also just again, feeling the earth under your feet and uh, getting your body moving and your heart rate up and all that stuff and and navigating the course. And, and it's just much better on foot, really. Yeah. So I met this artist, graphic artist, who became a very good friend of mine, Barry Grimes, uh, over the phone when I first started Ashworth. And I was telling him that I, you know, I wanted to have this, some kind of logo that signified you know what we were doing and I, yes, I really like Lynx courses and you know the link you know the history with Scotland and, and you know being outdoors and you know kind of that uh, whole solitary part of the game right and, and and just kind of went on and on, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, and, you know, and unbeknownst to me, he was actually, he sketched it when we, when we, you know, from that conversation. He goes, well, next time we get together in L.A., we'll get together and I'll, you know, we'll talk about it. I'll show you some stuff. And, you know, he showed me that and I go, boom, that's it. That's you know? it. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it's such, a, such an iconic logo, yeah. especially in my life. I've just like, I've always kind of zeroed back into that, you yeah. know. Um, with that being said, Link Soul, mm -hmm. right? thriving up and coming apparel brand yeah. right but it has this real cool li casual laid back nature and i can i can understand it now <laughs> meeting you and sitting here i'm like yeah. i get that vibe right yeah. so tell us how the link soul come to be well link soul is an evolution of you know i guess if you're in the clothing business you keep evolving and try to make things that, you know, I always try to make things that I like to wear, but that I know my buddies would wear, right. would like to wear as well. And, uh, and, and then the, the name Link Soul came from uh, a long time ago. And I don't know, you probably read Golf in the Kingdom. Of course, Michael Murphy. Did, did you read the, the second book, The uh, Kingdom of Chivas Irons? Yeah, of course. So there's a line in it that says, golf is what links the soul to the flesh. And that's kind of how, that was kind of how I, I, I put together Link Soul from that. And, and I thought it was great because, you know, it does Link's souls together. Yeah, I mean, yeah. what other game can you play that, you know, you meet three perfect strangers on the first tee and by the end of four rounds of, you know, slogging it out there together, you know, in your own little world. But, but by the end of it, you have this bond and you become friends and many times people become really good friends for the life yeah during that during that time and so that's sort of how the, the name came about i mean it's perfect yeah really uh, truly yeah it's just you zeroed in on it <laughs> um goat hill goat hill it's been called the field of dreams <laughs> of the golf world yeah right yeah i mean I it guess. really is yeah it seems to be that story can you tell us a little bit more of how it came to be? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's funny. I, you know, I grew up in Escondido, which is right down the road, and, and so it's 20 minutes from here. And as a kid playing junior golf, I played in a couple junior golf tournaments here and played in some high school matches against the local team here. And, um, and you know, Oceanside, especially back then, it was pretty sketchy, mm -hmm. you know, to you know, to even come over to Oceanside. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, you're going to Oceanside? Wow, be careful, you know, mm -hmm. it's like, but, uh, but then when, 
I don't know, it was probably, I didn't play it much over the years, but about probably 20 years ago, 20 years ago, I, I, I played it a few times and, you know, and it was fun. It was never in great shape, but the greens were always pretty good. And, and then uh, my nephew, Jeff, who's my partner in Link Soul, okay. he lives in Oceanside. And so he and I started playing it, you know, maybe a couple times a week. And, and then we started Link Soul, mm -hmm. which is literally a mile from here. Right. And at the time I was a member at La Costa mm -hmm. and I was barely going there. You know, I'd go there once a month and I finally said, why am I doing this? So I quit my membership at La Costa. And then we started Link Soul and about two years into it, we could tell the, the course was getting more and more run down, you know, and, and, and the city, we found out that the city was putting an RFP out to uh, change, you know, to see if somebody would come and develop this land right. and change it from being a golf course. I mean, it almost was where the charges were going to be. The char th that was the first plan, and we were like, ah, oh, that's never going to happen. That didn't happen. Then we saw a bunch of suits walking around one day, and we yeah. go, uh-oh. Yeah. And so we, kind of the last minute, we said, we got to do something, you know. We're in the golf business. This is in our backyard, you know. I grew up on Escondido Country Club and played high school there, and that had shut down. Mm -hmm. um, San Luis Rey is actually where I grew up learning the game. That shut down. Mm -hmm. A couple other places shut down. We're thinking, oh my God, we got to do something. So we put together a very benevolent proposal, fix up the golf course, have it be the home of the North County Junior Golf, mm -hmm. add a kids course a la Scotland where they have those, yep. you know, where kids play for free and they learn the game. Yeah. And, and, you know, just fix up the clubhouse, maybe add a clubhouse at some point in time, you know, for events and stuff like that. But, um, and so we put this plan in with all these, you know, big time developers, you know, doing their mixed use condos and strip malls and stuff like that. And, um, and we did a whole save goat hill campaign. Uh -huh. You know, and we, we were lucky to get some really pretty high profile people put the T-shirt on and and have their photos taken with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we just kind of got the whole community. The community loves this place. You know, it goes back obviously since 1952 and everybody's got a story about Goat Hill. Yeah. And uh, and so we kind of charged it and got everybody behind us, went to city council meetings and and sure enough, they, the city council had no other choice but to go with us because we kind of ran everybody out, you know. And at the time, it was sort of like, oh, fuck, you know, what are we going to do now? Yeah. You know, we, you know, now we got to do this thing. Um, and so eight years later, you know, and we, you know, we took it over. It was really run into the ground. It was like dirt and in really poor condition. There was like 10 carts that worked and. I think there was like one greens mower that was held together by like wire and duct tape and a fairway mower and that was about it. And, um, but uh, we've been very fortunate. We had the whole community behind us. We had a couple of volunteers days, you know, just to clean up weeds and trash and all that stuff. And, and uh, you know, here we are and it's, you know, it's thriving. And our whole concept was like, we rebranded it. It used to be called Sinner City Golf Course, which was, you know, kind of pretty run of the mill. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but it was always known as Goat Hill mm -hmm. to all the locals. And it's actually on Goat Hill Drive. Mm -hmm. It is. So it was kind of a no brainer. We just added the word park because yeah. we wanted to be like a park. You know, everyone's welcome. You know, we, we came up with the line. Jeff did, you know, world class, working class. And we just try to make it as nice as we can. But we said from the start, we don't have a dress code. We play music. We're dog friendly. Mm -hmm. We also have a disc course. You saw that. We want to have, we have concerts. You know, we, we do think of it as it's the hub of the community, you know, and that's, you know, I don't even care if people play. They just want to come up and enjoy hanging out. You know, that's fine. That's the you know, roots that's, of the golf course in Scotland, right? Yeah. Yeah. I it's mean, that's the hub of the community. Yeah. So. Like Sunday, they shut down the course. Yeah. And I would there. love yeah. to do that eventually, but we still got to pay the water bill and well, stuff and like plus, that. Plus, that's when a lot of people can get out to the courses on right, the weekends, and play, right? Yeah. 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 
yeah. yeah. So. Well, I think it's really synonymous that you, that's the name because you guys are the GOAT of community golf, <laughs> right? Yeah. You became that. I, am, I mean, so. walking onto this property and seeing that, embodying the um, outlook of this is golf inclusion. This is the, the new age of golf. This is the, what gets the youngsters excited to come out, yeah. hearing popular music, yeah. feeling like a place that they are welcome yeah. at any level. Yeah. You know, and having that where I could have brought my friends to growing up, yeah. I could have really inspired many more of my friends right. to play. Yeah. And you guys have actually solved that. I mean, well, I see at least it in front a, of me. It's a blueprint, I think. And, and the kids course is really key. I think The playground, we call it the kids course. Because it's like if you can bring a kid out when they're like four and five, six, whatever, and they're just comfortable being yeah. around golf versus mm -hmm. like you got all these stuff, you tuck your shirt in and walk this way and do that, they're going to they're gonna be turned off. They're going to be turned off. So for me, it's from the cradle to the grave, you know, mm -hmm. and let's all get along and let's, you know, let's learn that, you know, the etiquette yep. and the virtues you know, and, and, and the respect uh, and all those things that are so embedded in the game of golf and are so important. Right. But that doesn't really have anything to do with dress code. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, you, you know, so. Agreed. So, um, so anyway, that's, that's what we're doing here. And if it, I hope it translates and, you know, and, and, it, and it spreads because I think we are in a renaissance period. We are. You know, and um, but this time around, I would like to see us adopt more practices that kind of fall in line what we've you know we, we we're like proof of concept a little bit you know i mean people love it it is a special piece of ground though it is i mean there's no denying that it sits up on the hill it's got the ocean view we get the cool breeze weather's perfect you know i i feel like there's a real energy in the land that uh i don't know it just kind of you just feel it when you like come a vortex. on site. yeah yeah it's, it's, it brings people in i mean if you were living here 300 years ago and you were an Indian with a tribe, I think you probably would have lived here. Right. <laughs> you know. Right. I mean, you know, link soul, linking the soul, the community to that mm -hmm. as well. Goat Hills, that embodiment. Yeah. You know, it feels like that we can actually immerse ourselves fully in yeah. while, while wearing link soul, right? <laughs> that's well, what you like to throw it I in. I hope so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but that's all right. Yeah. I mean, you can wear what you want to yeah, wear. That's right. a, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, um, Spiritually, the spiritual journey, I, I can tell that it's been very impactful for you. Can you tell us a little bit more about your spiritual journey and how golf weaves into that kind of like golf in the kingdom? And yeah, I mean, it's always been, you know, for me, it's always been part of my life. I don't know anything else really other than being in and around golf. Um, I actually got my degree in agronomy, which so I'm pretty involved in the, in the maintenance crew out here and stuff. But and then uh, you know, I've studied a lot of philosophy over the years, and uh, but I think it's, uh, I didn't, you know, this, I don't know if you've ever heard this one, but my mom, when I was eight years old, she gave me a choice. I could either go, she, she, had, she was on this kick, you know, to, we were all going to go to Sunday school. I was number five of six kids. Wow. So I was eight, and she, I was, Sunday school, oh my God, you know, Sunday you want to go out and play football or basketball or whatever and be with your buddies and so she, we all went to Sunday school and I, you know, it couldn't have been more like, you know, boring and, you know, you're in this class and I don't know, I just didn't, it didn't do it for me and I complained and, and I guess her and my dad said, well, he's either going to go caddy for you on, because he had a game every Sunday, he was a school uh -huh. teacher and so that, you're right, that was the time he could go yeah. play, right? Yeah. So, so I was able, I chose to go caddy for my dad wow and so that was kind of my sunday school so it is for me it is a bit of a religion yeah in a lot of ways well and look you at know. what it's yeah. actualized yeah and i think it does it can really help people become better people yes you know um the self-awareness aspect of yeah, yeah absolutely and uh and a chance to get away from the craziness of the real world i always look at it like there's the real world and then there's the golf world. And I've been lucky enough to be on the planet of the golf world and, um, you know, day in, day out. So, um, well, know. we're grateful you're part of that. <laughs> it's indeed. been good. Yeah, indeed. Well, can we get out there and play some holes with sure. you? Sure. 
Yeah, and absolutely. see what Gold Hill's all about. Let's do it. Indeed. Well, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, thank you. Really Thanks appreciate for coming it. by. Indeed. Here, here's what we do on the playground. You tell us. You just take one club. Okay. And typically, it can't be any. It can't. It's got to be a nine iron or, or more kind of deal. But I got a special club that I hit. Wait, it's got to be a nine iron or more? Yeah, you can't hit, can't hit a wedge. It's like a bump and run thing. I grew up with my Hogan SI. That's my go-to, and I can't use a sand wedge. No. Okay. I agree. I'm not not you. if you're playing, you know, the betting playground rules. Here we are, the playground. So how many holes is this? Three holes. Mm. Bump and run. So Matt has a one up on us. He already played 18 at Torrey this morning. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Hang on, I warmed up. <laughs> Welcome to the playground. Everyone's a kid. Well, it's better short than long here. You'll see if you're long, you're going way down. Yeah, but it's really, it's probably the most rewarding thing for me is to look down here and see little kids with their parents or their grandparents. Just like, like that, that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just, you know, I, I love seeing them doing cartwheels and rolling around. And, you know. Got it. Oh, we'll give you that kick. one. That's in the circle. Well, That's in the circle? All right, thank you. I appreciate it. I'll take it. Although with a nine iron, you never know. Right? <laughs> That's why I took it. <laughs> There. Oh, you and, and coming back. See, so you just be nice to us the first whole time. <laughs> right, you can try to be hospitable, you know. Oh, you coming back to me, see? You're a big rookie. Oh, you're going to show me the way. Oh. Yeah, well, luckily, right? I'll figure it out quickly. Oh. Not bad. Look at this. Look at this. Woo. Let me move my ball. I didn't double it. Nice. Yeah. All right. Well, that's the playground. That's the playground. Pretty fun. You that was keep fun. Going round, round, yeah, round. Yeah, it was great. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Goat Hill Park, aka the Goat, Oceanside, California. The field of dreams of golf. The Goat of community golf. And today I'm teaming it up with golf guru John Ashworth. Or 
as I like to call him, the guru of the goat. Right at that bunker with a little cut is what I was trying to do when I came over a little bit. Okay. You. All right, won't hurt you. First full swing of the day. I'm happy I actually connected with it. Wow, I didn't see it, but it sounded amazing. <laughs> he, looked, he did. He did exactly what you told him to do. On May 5th, 6th, and 7th, they're having a massive international pro disc tournament. Yeah. Like it's kind of the Augusta National of disc golf courses. Yeah. Are we grinding? You guys want to put these down? I like to hear that sound. This is probably the hardest one on the course. Yeah. Uh, like it. It's probably. Like it's probably playing 200. It's probably 180 playing 200. Oh, uh, come there right there. Members kick? No, that'll be down the hill. Oh, my goodness. That's gone. Oh, that looks nice. A little short, maybe. So do you have a golf memory that's like one of the most memorable moments of your golf journey? That's oh, a hard wow. question. That I is know. a hard question. But was there like a moment wow. that was like... You've had so many probably past experiences. That's your first one if you want to play. <laughs> yeah, let me play yeah. that one. Good, good karma. Let me think of that. See, I'll you kick me out the car right when I say I'll, that. I'll try to like, think. Like, oh, I found your first one for you. <laughs> <laughs> this was the original clubhouse right there, and that was the cart barn. Really? Yeah, a tiny little, and, and the first hole is a par five from right here to the 18th green. Really? So now there's a par three in between, and it goes par three, par four. Interesting. So, yeah, so... And that clubhouse that we're at over there, that was not originally here. Oh, gotcha. That, that was put in when they rerouted the course. So when they lost a couple and, holes, yeah. that was how they filled the yeah, back Yeah, the in. guy goes, I'm going to put the clubhouse here. We're going to take the main road up here. You know, re so rerouted the whole 1957? Thing. Yeah, 1952. 52? Yeah. Yep. We got videos of it the opening day where they all hit a shot. And stuff really? Like that. Yeah. That's amazing. It's amazing. Somebody just amazing. found it like not that long ago. Oh, how iconic is that? Yeah. You like got to get some of that video eight. and put it on a shirt, right? It's like super eight, yeah. So with Link Soul, do you do cross promotions? Like, do you have a Link Soul Goat Hill? Oh, yeah, like? yeah, yeah. We have a whole, yeah, we do a lot of stuff. We do a lot of, they are separate companies, but right. we do a lot of stuff together. For yeah. Sure.
I love to promote golf, you know, all the way through. I love it. You know? Yeah. And uh, how it can benefit people and, you know, bring people together and all that stuff. Yeah. You know, so yeah. it's more about that. And we, we love making clothes, you know, we make clothes that we think reflects our lifestyle and comfortable and casual and all that kind of stuff. So are you still instrumental in design of it all? I'm involved in it, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I, we have we have a great team and I'm part of the team and, yeah. you know, give feedback and input and all that stuff. But um, but I do spend more time out here. That's what, the way it know. should be. Yeah. You know, yeah. with the people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's good because it, it helps me see the forest from the trees too. I love back it. there. Yeah, that's real. You know, so. Yeah, when good. you're on the pulse of that, yeah. That's what breeds that honesty. Yeah. 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 That link so, to the soul. That's right. You got it. Yeah. So you got a little chip, a little up and down. I thought I was going to slow down. I thought I put some spin on it. <laughs> The big word is thought. <laughs> Did you? Was that your drive? <clears throat> on the on the other green? You can move it. Yeah, this is our double green. Pretty there cool. There you go. Huh? Yep. We're playing for such big money. I just wanted to make yeah, sure. Yeah, we, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? <laughs> oh, slow down. Yeah, it uh, it kind of went left. Okay, make sure you get this one. I fooled you. <laughs> it just didn't go in, huh? Functions that way? Oh, she's yeah. that way. It did go that way, huh? Yeah. That away. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Good job. No matter what, it's two putts, right? <laughs> no matter what. Thank you. You're right. That's true. Correct me. Talk about a memorable moment in golf for me is right here on this tee box. It was, we were, it was our, I think it was our third wishbone brawl. And you know, it was, you know, the wishbone brawl is amazing. If you ever go, go, you know, YouTube and just look at some of it. Yeah. You talk about capturing the essence of Goat Hill Park. Okay, so it's, it was Xander Shoffley and Dean Wilson versus Jeff Ogilvy and Chris Riley, who was uh -huh. on the Ryder Cup team way uh -huh. back when and stuff. Now he's a coach at USD. Anyway, they play an exhibition match. They use persimmon woods. Okay. No ropes or, you know, we have about, we have probably had 600 people here, probably 70 kids, mm -hmm. 50 dogs, and just, followed these guys playing their exhibition match, right? And it was so fun. They're interacting with the gallery. And and so Dean makes about a 10-footer to on birdie for 18. So we had a playoff, so we decided we'll come to nine. Dean and Xander both hit on the green. And that place is full of people. Right. I'm actually back up here with a, there's only a dozen people because we were on 18 and we came back here. So everybody went over there and we went up here. He hit from right back there. Pen was kind of back right, and he just, it flew and hit the bottom of the pen and made the loudest noise, you know, just wham, and it stayed in the hole. What? Yeah, okay. and everybody just went, yeah. oh my God. It went viral. On, it was on amazing. Yeah. Everyone was jumping around, and it was. The hole in one heard yeah. around the world? Yeah, yeah, it was pretty cool. That's awesome. It was a, a, a walk off, you know, slam dunk. Ace. <laughs> yeah. To that's, win that's to win phenomenal. to win the match. That's cool. Doesn't get much better than that. See? So that was pretty memorable. But you know that that's where that like that like good energy from what you guys are oh, doing. Yeah. It manifests and then it spreads. No on its doubt own. about it. Right? Yeah, I mean, it's it exactly right. That's that goodness. That's and that it was just honor. like just you know. Yeah, yeah. The law. Let's get some of that goodness right now. Right here, I've aced it. Yeah. Uh, that's the only ace I've had out here, but it was on this okay. hole. I was going to 
gonna say how many have you had? Just that's it out here. Right. Make it two. <laughs> That's I mean, a little, a little <laughs> it's a little right. It's the right distance, though. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. End with the birdie. <laughs> Look at this guy with the butter cut. This might go in the hole. I mean, you guys got left and right, so what gives me one option, yeah, right? Yeah, right in the middle. <laughs> one option here. Oh, work. Low right. Work. And shining course on the hill, the proof of concept for all-inclusive contemporary community golf across the globe. Imagine our world if every community had a Goat Hill Park in their backyard. Not only is it the field of dreams of golf manifest, but a nexus of many more dreams to be born. Goat Hill Park, indeed world-class working class, but truly Goat Hill Park and its community is world class all class. <laughs>